Hey people and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Season 6. Yes, I was going to say Season 4 for some reason. Yes, that would be a bit out of date now. So, what have I done between episodes? Well, I went and mined, I went and smelted a load of stuff. And I finished the squares here. That's about it. Also, I installed another mod. Or two mods. I got a really, really, really experimental version of, Ele of Equivalent Exchange 3. And then I installed the equivalency mod so I can do transmutations with it. So I've been out killing stuff and I've got some shard of miniums. I put all my other monster loot back in my chest. And now we're going to make a minium stone and we're going to do some transmutations. Mainly because this is the the only reason I wanted this mod for or mainly is to get ender pearls. Now ender pearls are really, really annoying to get unless you have access to the end, which I don't. I've got about five or six ender pearls so far from my travels, but they're just so annoying to get. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna make a minium stone. And I'm also gonna do some thermal expansion as well. Minium Aha, we want one of these. So I need an inert stone, which is apparently EMC values are back in and stuff. But for now we need stone, we need iron, and we need gold. Alright. Bit of gold. Four bits of iron. And we also need four bits of stone, which I'm gonna have to get some stuff out of there. I don't want two stacks. Go away. Alright, let's put this in there. Nice. So we need to smelt this. Move out of the way, ten. You're almost done anyway. We'll wait we we'll wait for your last bit of ten. And then we'll cook our stone. So that is actually another stack of tin. What we've got going on over here, we're getting pulverized iron by d pulverizing tin. It's smelting in here. And we actually have more bars here that we can get rid of. I have a load of other stuff I need to smelt, but let's stick all this away. I do need four of these still. Wow, this chest is almost full up, filled up now. Look at that. Gonna have to have a separate ore and a separate ingot chest soon. Wow. Alright, there's a stone. So let's find the recipe for the inert stone. There we go. And gold ingots. Alright, so the recipe for the next thing is just these around it. Minium stone, yeah. Sweet. Minium stone. Does it work on these blocks? It used to work on like grass and stuff. Or was it that? If I use this on... Oh god, there's a creeper. Don't explode my house. No, 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 no. <laughs> that would have been bad. Alright. So this is not the one that changes stuff. Maybe it is. Hmm. Oh, well, it does something. But I know you use it in your inventory. So we can... For example, if I wanted to make a... Enderpearl, I could do this. And it'll give me an enderpearl. Yeah. Sweet. So we can make enderpearls now. Nice. So that's going to help me do my equivalent exchange stuff. I've actually done a lot of stuff in the test world between episodes. So I've been testing out all the stuff for, for thermal expansion. I've been testing all the different pipes, all the different like, engines, the dynamos. And what most of the machines do as well. So that's kind of cool. There's actually a machine which like just constantly breaks blocks and outputs it to a... An adjacent inventory, which is great for cobblestone generators. I don't actually want a cobblestone generator because I'm going to have a quarry. And I've already got, like, so much cobblestone anyway. But there's an option there. There's also an option that there's a, a machinimist workbench or something what something like that. And you get, rest, you get blueprints and you can save your blueprints and get them more to craft and stuff. Which I might use for things like pistons, electronic circuits, and things like that in the future. It seems like a good option. Uh, it seems all the engines for this all output for 40 RF. Each different one is controlled, that has different 
uh, sort of inputs to make the power. Like there's one that you need lava to make the power, which is the magmatic one. And the other one needs water and like some kind of fuel for, so, for source, like the fuel from refining that oil or biofuel, stuff like that. So I'm just going to stick with the coal powered ones for now. And we're going to use them to power our quarry, so... I don't have any tesseracts yet. Um, tesseracts are things that allow me to teleport stuff between distances and dimensions. So if we could actually make this enderium ingots, that'd be great. So we need this enderium blend, which you need pulverized shiny metal. And a resonant ender bucket. So we need that from a magma crucible. So magma crucible is something we need to look to get soon. Uh, what else did I need for the enderium ingots? I needed this dust, which is blaze powder, redstone, and pulverized coal. So maybe we should pulverize a bit of coal. I mean, we're not going to need like super amount of this stuff, but half a stack of pulverized coal. And I might get some like side product. So. I wonder if there is a side product from coal. Hmm. I wonder. I kind of don't want it to go into the adjacent inventory though. Uh, let's just not do anything with that. So as you noticed in the recipe, another thing I need is blaze powder and blaze rods. Uh, you know what that means, right? Uh, never time. Now I have some armor. I've put on my plate in, which is why I'm not running super fast, because adding your plate in makes you super heavy. So uh, I really don't want to do this, but I kind of need to. I need some blaze rods now. We're probably going to get annihilated because every zombie pigman in the area attacks me because I mined the ore. Uh, baby zombie pigman not going to attack me. Good. I don't know why I brought my induction smelter. That was probably an awful idea. Alright. Let's get in there. They're all going to attack me any second now. Run. No? Attack me? Maybe? Up here is where we need to go. Oh, oh. Magma cube. We can get some magma cream or something. That's cool. Oh, God. What? Um, I think I just turned into a magma cube. Oh god. Oh, I'm a smaller magma cube now. Kill them all. Oh, I'm now a medium sized magma cube. Got some more of these medium things. Alright, I don't want to be a small magma cube. Thank you very much. It's amusing as it is. God damn it. Let's hope there's an imp there. They're not aggressive. I want to find some blazes that are just I can pick off. Hmm. Maybe not gonna attack me. Oh oh oh! Explosive bat! God damn it! Why does it have to explode? All right, we have a blaze over there. Okay, this is gonna be risky. Oh god! All right, we're not on fire. Yes, I'm a blaze. Does that mean I can die to snowballs now? Can I fly? I can fly, I'm a blaze. Ah, oh, yeah. What the hell? I'm in sort of opaque fade. Translucent? I don't know. What? I mean, oh, there's particles on my screen. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, this isn't fun. The movement isn't fun either. What the hell? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Finally got a thing. All right, I don't want to be a blaze. <laughs> the movement isn't exactly good in the air. It's really slow. Okay. Kind of could kill this spawner. Oh, what happens if I do this? Actually... Oh, God. You're going to destroy the spawner. No. I actually do need some of this brick. Just nick a couple bits of this brick. One of the machines I need to make anyway. Get a bunch of this. God damn it. Stop! See, I got lava meter on my like hood on the right now. Yeah. Die. 
Stop filling up my lava meter. Don't want to overheat. One blaze rod so far. I want to get a few, you know. No. Well, shock absorber. Ah. Let's jump up this. Get out of there. Coming up. God. Did I get any blaze rod? No. Are you really starting to pee me off? Let's hide for a minute and see if our lava overheat bar goes down. Hoping it does. Apparently got 32 in that meter. If I sit in water or something, does it go down? Or do I have to, like, wait for it? Hmm. Interesting. I find out when I get home. Let's just not get hit anymore. Which is easier said than done. Oh, that didn't hit me. Good. Come on, there's got to be some more blazes around here. My sword's almost out as well. Poo. Hmm. Where else can I go, really? Have a look down there. No, no blazes. Oh, there's a blaze over here. Go, 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 go! Die, 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 die! Yeah. Second blaze rod. Nice. Hello, I hear you, blaze. You're here somewhere. Give me that. Ah! Okay, I'm in a hole. Can I get out of this hole? Not really. Hmm. Hello? Ah, oh, that's not a good option either. Now we're going to get exploded by a bat. Kind of want to get up. Aha! Hello! No! Aha! Please! Found you. Oh god, my suit's about to over here. I have six blaze rods that I do for now. Need to find a way out. Or a way up in this case. Cool it is. I like this tree. Mushroom thing. It's pretty cool. Gah. What is this block? Who knows? Alright, let's get out of there. We've got blaze rods. Now we need stuff. Right. Which way is the way out? I'm going this way. Oh god, that's close. Run, 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 run. This way. Oh god. My whole set's over here. Luckily I'm not taking any damage. But still. It's kind of annoying. How long does it last for? Forever? Aha, it's run out. Sweet. Time to go home. Jump. Nope, we're not here to fight creepers and uh, anything. Let's just run. Okay, my suit, suit's not even overheating at all anymore. I've got six blaze rods. And uh, now we can get a bunch of blaze powder. I believe you can macerate these and get a load of blaze powder. Let's find out. Uh, we might want to keep a couple for our uh, potion stands and stuff. Let's find out. Macerate. Yeah, may as well cook all that. Can I have a load of mushrooms? Yeah. Stick it in there. A load of these blocks. So, magma crucible, was it? Magma. So this is what we need them for. We need copper ingots, a bucket, a machine frame, and a redstone Christmas cracker as usual. So let's get all the usual ingredients. 
we got iron, silver, copper, glass, redstone, bucket, redstone, Christmas cracker. Hmm, it was their way round, was it? One of the machine thingy thingies. I actually made a bunch of glass between episodes because I needed it. Yes. So the whole recipe is this. Oh, I need them blocks back. And a magma crucible. I like how res most recipes are the same bucket, machine frame, coil, and then just a random assortment of blocks and ingots. Magma crucible, whoop whoop. Alright, chest, your time is up. Sulfur! So that's what you get from coal. Uh, I do have the thing now to transport all this. Stick all that in there. Stick that in there. Now, what to do with this chest? Just do this. Uh, right. We need all these machines connected up, really, to be honest. Uh, kind of don't want them to go into each other, though. Magma Crucible, Duction Smeller. Now we have to dig under here. Bloody hell. I need some more energy conduits, of course. Nope, that's not where an energy conduit goes. And there. Alright. So, the magma crucible. So, I kind of would want to put the ender poles in there. And this will turn it into resonant ender. And I believe we can get buckets out of that. I mean, we can put this into a another machine here. Can't remember the name. I think it's a liquid transposer. Fluid transposer! So, let's make one of these. So this time, a random assortment of blocks is glass. Bloody hell. Stick this chest down with all the dust in for now. Don't want to carry this about. Probably should smell some of that iron. Because I want it. Alright. So, we have some resonant ender. Now, do I have buckets? I should probably make another bucket. I'm going to need copper, gold, iron, glass again. Where's glass? And redstone, of course. Can't forget redstone. So, we need to make a redstone Christmas cracker. I'm gonna make two buckets because I need some for the actual ender stuff. And we need a machine frame. And then we need. What was our. Oh, glass was our random block for this machine, wasn't it? For a fluid transposer. Yes, yes it was. And copper ingots as usual. Alright. Another machine. Film expansion. Being expanded. Here in season 6. Alright. Now I need to make another way down. Uh, Alright. Drip that there. And fluid transposer. So, I need water for this thing. This is for floors and stuff. Right. If I put a bucket in, put a bucket in there. Uh, how do I get stuff out of the crucible? And that is the question. Let's swap these machines around. Damn it! 
So, get this, put that in there. How do I use the bucket on it? I want bucket, bucket, somewhere. Do I just not have enough? What? Tutorial! Need flux to operate. Uh, so let's put the fluid transposer next door. See what happens. So it fills up with that. Does it go in the bucket now? Ah, th see this is how you do it. Figured it out. This is the one thing I didn't mess with between episodes. The one thing I needed to do. Alright. Now to make endurium ingots. So, we need two endurium blends, which you get by a bucket, pulverized tin, and some shiny metal. Platinum grains. How do you get platinum grains? Oh, so that's a B update thing. Alright, well, it's doing it. How do I get the shiny? Uh, platinum ore, shiny ingot. Ferris ore, you can get 10% to get shiny. So we're going to have to cook off ferrous. And hopefully get some shiny. Hmm. Right, iron, you're done. Ferrous, get... No, wait. We need ferrous ore to get the shiny. Damn it! I need the shiny. The shiny ingot. This is the only way I can get Endurium blend. Power shiny. Poo. We need either platinum ore or ferrous ore. All right, so we've hit a brick wall. Hit a definite brick wall. Well, at least we've got a bunch of new machines again. I mean, that's pretty cool. We've got a crucible and a fluid transposer, so that's pretty sweet. But, what's not sweet is I need ferrous ore, which I believe only generates in new chunks. Uh, no, I don't need that pickaxe anymore. I mean, I don't need that shovel either. But it only generates in new chunks, I believe, so I'm a bit stuck for that. Until I go and run into I mean it won't take me long to run into new chunks if I take off my armor uh, it's just annoying uh, let's take out the coal out of these we're not gonna use them at the moment coal give me coal only one of them had coal oh no both of them did so I do really want to progress with thermal expansion I just hit the brick wall with needing the shiny metal so either I need to do Find platinum ore, which I would need to explore in the never <laughs> into new chunks. Or I would need to find ferrous ore, explore into the overworld in new chunks. So I'll be doing that. So some other things we can look at soon are the quarry. Now, the quarry itself, I want to use tesseracts. So that's why I'm doing all this. But I also need piping, which will be fine. And I need more piping, or various types of piping, item pipes, and normal pipes. Now, I kind of want to store stuff in barrels like this, but I need this. I need one of them sorting rooms. <coughs> Excuse me there. Wow. That cough suddenly come up on me there. So let's have a look at making a quarry. Now I need I know we need a bunch of diamond for this. You need like diamond gears and stuff for a quarry. So we need a diamond pickaxe, a bunch of gears. So overall we need seven gears up to iron level. So let's have a look at making those. We'll get those done. We need a bunch of iron, we're gonna need some gold, some diamond. Uh, we're gonna need a bunch of cobblestone I believe. And a load of wood. Here's my load of wood. Actually, that's not as much wood as I expected. Poo. Poop. Alright. So I need seven 
I believe I'm one stick short of making seven cogs. Uh, let's go and cut down a tree. Or oh, we only need one log, really. So let's just nick one of these logs. Uh. Ah, I can jump into it. Yeah, give me them logs. Right. Time to make cogs, and more cogs, and more cogs, and a pickaxe. Yes, because we need a pickaxe. Does that make sense? It actually probably does, the fact that I'm making a quarry. Right, there's the pickaxe. I oh, wasn't needing one bit of redstone. There we go. One bit. Come on, one bit of redstone. I don't want a leaf. Get out of my life. Right. Cogs. We need seven of them. Right. And we need to make all of those into stone cogs. And all of those into iron cogs. Right, now, how many stay as iron? Three of them. So four of them go up to the next level, which is gold. And then how many go up to diamond level? Two. Two of them go up to the next level. That's eight of my diamonds gone. That's 11 diamonds all in all. Right, so now we can make the quarry. Iron, iron, iron. Redstone. Pickaxe. Some gears and some more gears. Yeah. Quarry! We have a quarry. Ah, oh, yeah. So this will be be, be put in that other world. So I know a bit. I'm going to be building another building between episodes. I think it's going to be like the sorting room from season five. It's going to have a bunch of pipes going through, and they're all going to go to the different barrels, and they're going to store different things. So I need to make a million, 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 million item ducks. So let's have a look at the recipe for that again. Uh, I kind of want the see-through ones. So loads of tin. We've got loads of that. I mean, we could just use lead ingots, but I want opaque ones. So we need obsidian dust and lead ingots. In fact, we can get that started right now. Uh, we have a bunch of obsidian dust somewhere. Some one of these chests. Obsidian dust. Aha, there we go. Right, so induction smell is gonna come into use here. So we need like that and a bunch of lead. And this will get me a bunch of hardened glass, which I can use for my item ducks. That's what I want. So here we go. This is gonna take a while. In fact, let's use these ingots first. And there we go. That is all I'm going to do for today. It was a big mess, but it w it's useful mess. Magma crucible, fluid transfers are useful. Duction smelter useful. This sponsor ba blaze powder will be useful. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and join me again tomorrow for a new episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.